Hi, this is Matthew from RetroEdge.Tech, and as part of my exploring Linux more, even though I've been using Linux for a long time, I'm just uh, having a lot of fun exploring aspects of Linux and the technology around it that I haven't really gotten into before. And part of that is I'm learning to use the Vim text editor better. I've known the basics for a very long time, and now I've become interested in learning how to use it better. And I, I found something fun. I uh, just wrote a little blog post here with some notes um, for my own reference, and hopefully it will be helpful to you as well. I found a Vim cheat sheet. Um, I use the DuckDuckGo search engine most of the time uh, for just, I have that set as my default search engine in my web browser. And I found out that there's this instant information feature um, for Vim that shows you all of the commands. And so I will, I link to it in my article or my, my blog post, my micro blog post here on retroedge.tech, uh, but I'll just show it off. So let's open up a DuckDuckGo search um, and I will just type in Vim cheat sheet. And it looks like it auto completes there as well. Um, but I'll show it there without the space. And uh, up here, it shows a cheat sheet. And then if I show more, it displays all of the possible um, commands, uh, shortcut keys for the Vim text editor. Um, and I, I do find it funny, humorous, that exiting the Vim editor is the first Thing that is uh, um, covered in the Vim cheat sheet because if you're a per person that's new to Vim, you're just using it for the first time, often the question is, how do I get out of this thing? So the Vim cheat sheet does it right and puts exiting as its first um, topic or shortcuts that are covered. So good job, Vim cheat sheet. So this is actually authored by, um, it's, this is where it's at. The original Vim cheat sheet is here on this website. Uh, and this website has just been incorporated. Um, and I actually found out about it as I was, was visiting the Vim cheat sheet website. But I found out that this document was embedded in DuckDuckGo. And that's how I found out that it was included like that, which is cool because that's the search engine that I use the most. Just thought I'd share that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.